Unit 11. Keep fit, stay healthy. A. A checkup. 1. Listen, then practice with a partner. The students of Quang Trung School are having a medical checkup. Hoa, Lan, and Nya filled in their medical records and gave them to a nurse. Now they are waiting to see the doctor. Sam? Di Hua? Yes. Follow me, please. First, I need to take your temperature. Okay. Would you open your mouth, please? Thank you. That is 37 degrees Celsius. That's normal. Now I need to know your height. Would you stand here, please, so I can measure you? Like this? That's fine. You're one meter, forty-five centimeters tall. Wow! Last year I was one meter and thirty. Now I need to weigh you. Would you get on the scales, please? Oh, I'm forty kilos. That's good. You can go back to the waiting room now. The doctor will see you in a few minutes. Thank you. Two. Listen. Then write the missing words. I want to ask you a few questions before I start, Hoa. How old are you? Fourteen. And your height is one meter fifty centimeters? No, I think I'm shorter. The nurse measured me. Oh, how tall are you? One meter forty-five centimeters. I will ask the nurse to check your height again. How heavy are you? I think I'm 42 kilos. No, it says on your form that you're 40 kilos. Unit 11. Keep fit, stay healthy. A. A checkup. 1. Listen. Then practice with a partner. Pages 114, 115. The students of Wang Chung School are having a medical checkup. Wa, Lan, and Nga filled in their medical records and gave them to the nurse. Now they are waiting to see the doctor. Sam Di Hua? Yes. Follow me, please. First, I need to take your temperature. Okay. Would you open your mouth, please? Thank you. That is 37 Celsius. That is normal. Now I need to know your height. Would you stand here, please, so I can measure you? Like this? That's fine. You're 1 meter, 45 centimeters tall. Wow! Last year I was 1 meter and 30. Now I need to weigh you. Would you get on the scales for me, please? Oh, I'm 40 kilos. That's good. You can go back to the waiting room now. The doctor will see you in a few minutes. Thank you. Two. Listen. Then write the missing words. Page 115. I want to ask you a few questions before I start, Hua. How old are you? Fourteen. And your height is 1 meter 50 centimeters? No, I think I'm shorter. The nurse measured me. Oh, how tall are you? 1 meter 45 centimeters. I will ask the nurse to check your height again. How heavy are you? I think I'm 42 kilos. No, it says on your form that you're 40 kilos. B. What's wrong with you? 1. Listen, then practice with a partner. Where were you yesterday, Lan? You didn't come to school. I had a bad cold. I had a headache, too. Oh, dear. You were sick. How do you feel now? I feel okay, but I'm a little tired. 
Oh, you should stay inside at recess. The weather's awful today. Did your mom write a sick note for you? No, she didn't. But I have this note from the doctor. That'll be fine. Oh, I see. You had a virus. I hope you will be okay. Thank you. 3. Listen. Then complete the table. Days lost through sickness in Class 7A last semester. Last semester in Class 7A, there was a total of 112 days absence due to sickness. The total breaks down as follows. Most absences, 43, were due to flu. Then came stomach problems with 37. Toothache came next with 17. Colds accounted for 10 absences. Finally, headaches caused five days absence. Four, read. Then answer the questions. The common cold. There is only one disease called common, the common cold. We call it the common cold because every year millions of people catch it. Everybody knows the symptoms. A runny nose, a slight fever, coughing, and sneezing. It is very unpleasant, but nobody knows a cure. At the drugstore, there are usually shelves with cold cures. These medicines don't cure a cold, but they do relieve the symptoms. Whatever you do, your cold will last for a few days and then disappear. How can you help prevent a cold? Eat well, exercise, and you will be fit and healthy. 5. Play with words. Hold your nose and read this poem. I have a cold, a horrible cold. I cough, I sneeze, and then I blow. Here comes another sneeze. Oh no. Achoo. I have a cold, a terrible cold. My face is white, my nose is red, and I have a pain in my head. Achoo. B. What was wrong with you? 1. Listen. Then practice with a partner. Page 119. Where were you yesterday, Lan? You didn't come to school. I had a bad cold. I had a headache and a stomach ache, too. Oh, dear. You were ill. How do you feel now? I feel okay, but I'm a little tired. Oh, you had better stay inside at recess. The weather is awful today. Did your mom write a sick note for you? No, she didn't, but I have this note from the doctor. That will be fine. Oh, I see. You had a virus. I hope you'll be okay now. Thank you. Three. Listen, then complete the table, page 120. Last semester in class 7A, there were a total of 112 days absence due to sickness. The total breakdown as follows. Most absences, 43, were due to flu. Then came stomach problems with 37. Minor injuries came next with 17. Colds accounted for 10 absences. Finally, headaches caused 5 days absence. B. What was wrong with you? 4. Read. Then answer the questions. Pages 121, 122. 
the common cold. There is only one disease called common, the common cold. We call it the common cold because every year millions of people catch it. Everybody knows the symptoms, a runny nose, a slight fever, coughing, and sneezing. It is very unpleasant, but nobody knows a cure. At the drugstore, there are usually shells with cold cures. These medicines don't cure a cold, but they do relieve the symptoms. Whatever you do, your cold will last for a few days and then disappear. How can you help prevent a cold? Eat well, exercise, and you should keep fit and stay healthy. Questions? A. Why do we call the cold common? B. What are the symptoms of the common cold? C. Is there a cure for the common cold? D. Do cold cures work? What do they do? E. How can you help prevent a cold? Five, play with words, page 122. Hold your nose and read this poem.